basketball coach Mitra Perry after a 88-79 win over Lipscomb. Coach, just your general thoughts on the game. Um, I'm extremely excited to get the win. Uh, I thought we played an awesome first half. Uh, and in the second half, we kind of allowed them to get back in the game. Um, but overall, I was really proud of our team. Uh, the effort, I thought, you know, I think they didn't score for a, a long period of time in the first half, 15 minutes, something like that. And so that was our best defensive effort of the year, so I'm definitely excited about it. And we, you had almost everybody uh, on the team, except for Chloe Ranch, uh, put in some baskets, so I, and you had four uh, people in uh, double digits. Just talk a little bit about the team effort across the board. Um, we've, we've continued to talk about in practice that just the, the teamwork is, is where our strength is and that everybody needs to contribute in some uh, form or fashion, not necessarily in the, in the box court, but defensively. Chloe Branch had a, a big stop uh, on number one down the stretch, uh, Maya. And uh, it was, you know, everybody contributed. Everybody, somebody had a big board. Uh, Lisa Capelli had a huge charge. Um, so it was just a, a, a great team effort I'm, I'm proud of. And then uh, your two juniors, Christina Wells, 30 points, just two off her um, career high, and Bria Young setting her career high with 18 points. Let's talk a little bit about their leadership. Uh, Christina Wells has just been a, a steady Eddie all season. I couldn't ask for more from her. Uh, she's brought it in practice uh, today in the game. She said she was tired, so she must have really been tired. <laughs> um, but uh, she gives it every, she, you know, when your best player uh, is your hardest worker, uh, it, it sends a great message to the team. Uh, Bria Young has consistently worked hard for us from the beginning of the season. Um, you know, she had a little stretch where she was a little bit down, uh, but it, it just came down to her confidence and doing what she does best, which is shoot. And uh, if, if people are going to leave her open, I want her to take those shots. Now, um, how will this help the team moving forward? You have Northern Kentucky, who you guys played close with in the first half um, at NKU, but they've also shown that they're, um, you know, one of the teams to be reckoned with. Um, stopped uh, Florida Gulf Coast's amazing conference win streak. Um, they they have been playing really really good basketball. Uh, they're another team that's a, what I call a do both team. Uh, can shoot the three and drive. Um, but, I, you know, I feel like, you know, we, we're going to have some confidence because we did compete the first half, and it was probably a span of eight to nine minutes in the second half that we didn't, which let the game get out of control. Um, and so it's the same thing we've always talked about. We need a 40-minute game, and they're, they're that team that you have to play 40 minutes, not 39. Yeah, I want to talk about just the difference in the half. Just talk about playing 40 minutes. What will you do in practice to make that – We've got to, we can't, you can't do that against Northern Kentucky. You That's cannot. Um, it, you know, it, it's, uh, it's still about being young. Uh, we haven't had a game this year that we got that far ahead. Yeah, that's right. It, it, you know, and so when you, when you talk about a mentality, you know, it's really just trying to keep them zoned in and focused on the task at hand. You know, as a coach, you go in there, I'm telling them, hey, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah. But in the reality, they understand they've just played a really good half. Yeah. And so it's more the, the mental part of from the neck up, yeah. uh, that they just have to do a better job simulating in practice. Um, again, you're gonna, you know, you go your two minute drills and do maybe a, a span of two minutes where you are up 15 and still understand the game is not over. Yeah. You know, free throws and layups, I mean, that, that catches the game up pretty quickly. <laughs> right. Thank you. What was your game plan going in and how do you feel like you uh, implemented it and it was, it was executed? Um, the game plan was stop the three and stop the layup uh, because they, we didn't feel like anyone except Cooper really shot that mid-range jump shot. Um, and I thought the first half, we did an excellent job of that. I thought the second half, uh, we didn't match their intensity or urgency. Um, I, I definitely felt like we could have guarded the uh, drive better, but I just think, again, it was a mental lapse thinking that this team was going to lay down. Lipscomb hasn't had a bad loss all year. And that's what we kept trying to reiterate to our players. Look like interior defense. Felicia Dixon did a good job in the paint. Uh, uh, v was wonderful. Uh, a lot of energy. Sometimes it's not physically what she does, but she is our hype man. Uh, she keeps it going. She keeps that energy up. She's like that in practice. And so I, I was excited that she came and did what she needed to do defensively. She grabbed some big boards, had a good, big putback. I mean, so I, I just I'm, I'm proud of her. But it's what we expect. Thanks, guys.